In this session, let's look at polymorphism in Python. Polymorphism is a compound word that means many specified forms. Dictionary.com shows poly stands for many and morphism is the condition or quality of having a specified form. That's how we get many forms. By default, Python supports method overriding but does not support method overloading. A parent class defines the general method that can be used by all of its child classes. I will place the transcript, PDF documents on GitHub. You can follow me on Twitter, connect with me on LinkedIn and Facebook. Also subscribe to my channel. Polymorphism is related to inheritance. In this diagram, there are four classes. Employee is the parent, while a developer and the tester are the child classes. From the previous session, we saw how the Automation Engineer class inherited two classes, developer and the tester. When it comes to polymorphism, the Automation Engineer class and both parent classes maintain the capacity to take on many forms. For example, the Automation Engineer class can pick up its own behavior plus the behaviors of employee, developer, and the tester. In the IDE, we see all four classes. I will show you how the Automation Engineer class can override the method from its parent class. Right now, there is only one method in the Automation Engineer class, and that's the Initializer method. Also, from the previous session, I created an instance and wrote two print statements. Erase both of these print statements. The reason we override a method from its parent class because the parent class method does not fit what we want to accomplish in the child class. Let's override the get employee info method from employee. At this point, if I call the method by writing automation dot get employee info, we see the IntelliSense shows employee. Watch what happens when I override the method. To override a method in the child class, we define the method with the same name as the method in the parent class. To save time, let's copy and paste the method in the child class automation engineer. Then return another statement for salary by writing salary colon and I'm going to append the function using string and then pass in self dot salary also insert a new line now if I use automation dot get employee again to call the method then the IntelliSense updates to show Automation Engineer. Although there are two methods with the same name, Python will only focus on the method in the child class because I am using an instance from the child class. Therefore, Automation Engineer will ignore instructions from the employee class. However, the employee class still maintains its own set of instructions. If I create an instance by writing employee equals employee and the name will be employee ed, employee number five and salary will be a hundred thousand. So at this point, the automation engineer class has no effect to the parent class employee. So we don't have to worry about breaking anything in the parent class. If I call get employee using the employee instance, if I call get employee info method using the employee instance, we see IntelliSense shows employee. Now we can perform the same process for developer and tester classes because they both are parents to the automation engineer class. I'm going to print 
employee dot get employee info and print automation dot get employee info and when I play bingo the console shows how it's a difference between the child and parent classes the child class automation engineer has three lines for employee name employee number and salary while the parent employee class has two lines for employee name and number so polymorphism for python allows us to override a method the parent class defines a general method that's common to all child classes then allow the child class to define its own specialized method thanks for watching and i will see you in the next session